Good evening, and welcome to 5 Day of J. I am your host, J.R. Murdoch. Thank you so much for joining me, Howard, this evening. Let's get started. Two things I wanted to talk about this evening. The first is, let's talk about these videos. I never intended these videos to be scripted, and I'm curious, would you rather see scripted videos, or if you're listening to the audio, scripted audio, would that be more interesting, more entertaining? Or would that be more distracting? The whole point when I started recording the series was just sit down, turn on the mic, turn on the camera, hit record, and go. That's what I've been doing, and I've been enjoying it. It doesn't take me much time to sit down and record them, which is why I enjoy doing it. It actually takes me more time to compile and upload than it does, and I can be doing other things while it's compiling and uploading. I don't mind doing that. I also write a blog post to go along with these videos, so if you're reading the blog, Let me know if you'd rather see it more scripted or if you're enjoying just the free form that I'm writing as I'm doing it. The reason I do these as free form is to, number one, save time. That's the biggest thing that I'm doing. I was doing Murdoch Minute for a while, very short time, and I was scripting those out. Sat down, would do the writing, would record it. It was a one minute thing, three to 400 words tops, if that just short punchy reviews of movies and books and whatnot but it would take more time to write that script than it would to actually record the video and it was taking time from what I could be doing which was writing I wanted to get back to writing so I stopped doing the Murdoch minute but I kept up with five a day with Jay and again the reason for this is to engage with readers, engage with viewers, engage with people who are coming here for content and want to see what I'm up to. And the reason I keep it freeform is I don't want to lock down into, okay, this is exactly the regimented way that this is going to go. I don't want it to sound scripted. I don't want it to sound rehearsed. I'm also practicing turning on the mic and going without an agenda, without thinking about what I'm going to do first. When I sat down this evening, I had no idea what I was going to talk about. Look, I've got two things. They just popped into my head. The reason the scripting came into my head is because I was watching a video earlier today by Patrick E. McLean. I've talked about him before. I think he's fantastic. His videos are always scripted. They're always well edited and very professional, but that's the way he comes across. That's also part of his business. He is a professional. He helps people with advertising. He helps people with recording videos and getting content out. Therefore, his videos are a lot more professional. I'm not a professional in that in any way, shape or form. I write books in my spare time. My professional business is to sit down and do cybersecurity. That's what I do. I don't do writing professionally yet. Would be neat if that happened. I don't know if it will, but on my day job, very much I need to be aware of what I'm doing, need to be well read, well versed on what I'm talking about as far as terminology, nomenclature, whatnot, verbiage. But when I'm doing these videos, again, I just want to sit down, hit record, go. So my first question is, does that work for you? Are you enjoying these videos? Am I getting a point across? Am I rambling senselessly? Let me know. I would love to find out about that. The second thing I wanted to talk about, and this popped into my head also watching Patrick, but I also started thinking about other authors that I follow as well. Um, John Green, Scott Sigler, so many authors that do videos, as well as Patrick, is Persona. This is just me sitting down, having a conversation with half the time with just the camera, but with you. I'm, I'm talking with you. I want to have a one-on-one conversation. I want this to feel like we're communicating. Would it be better if I had a persona? Uh, a lot of YouTubers that I follow, Jack Septikai, Markiplier, even Linus Tech Tips, all the Linus crew, all of them have personas, but I've also seen videos of them being themselves. Should I have a YouTube persona? something that I'm projecting. I've never been an actor. I've never been through acting classes. I've never tried to be somebody other than myself. I could 
ramble on about my history with acting behind the scenes, but I'll touch on that another time. But my question is, are personas more interesting when you're watching a video than when you're, when I'm just sitting here talking and doing my thing? Should I have a writerly persona? Should I, should I be Jay? Should I be announcer man? Um, a lot of questions come into my head. Again, one of the reasons these come into my, my head is I'm not getting many views. I'm not, I'm getting a few that are coming in and I thank everyone that does come in and watch them. Everyone that comes and watches the videos that reads the blog. I'm extremely appreciative of all of that. One of the things I will be doing soon is more content videos versus just me rambling videos. I want to start talking about, you know, I'm a storyteller. I want to tell stories, tell stories about my childhood, tell stories about concerts I've been to, about my favorite daughter and things that she did when she was growing up, things that the missus and I have gone off and done. Would that be more interesting than just me sitting here rambling, talking about my work? Again, this is all an augmentation of the writing career I'm launching. I'm working on rolling content out. Therefore, I need to know, is this working? Is what we're doing here working? Even if it's not, I'm still going to continue with the content. Well, if it's not, I'm going to change things up. If it is working, wonderful. I'll keep it rolling forward. Either way, I'm going to keep producing videos. I'm going to keep doing the blog posts. As I said many, many times, I want to show that I can stick to something and keep moving along. We're almost to 125 videos. That stuns me. We're almost to 100 regular blog posts in a row. Again, I'm going to be blogging every single day, whether I'm at home or not. I'm going to do the videos when I'm in the office and can record. Even if there's a dog barking outside. So let me know. This is one of the things that is the most challenging for an author is asking for people to review content. As a content producer for both a blog, for audio, and for video, let me know. Is this working for you? Is it not? Would you... I got a hair somewhere. Driving me nuts. Is the content working for you? If it's not, suggestions, feedback. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you would like to see. Should I be doing these on TikTok and just do a little one-minute clip? I'm thinking about doing that. I still have a hair in my mouth. I'm thinking about doing little 30 second, 60 second TikToks, just talking about my day. Just hold up the phone and record a TikTok. I need to get in the habit of doing that. It would be nice if I could do that every single day and just drop something out there. Something that will draw people in and people will watch the video, go check out my other stuff, give them links so they can go check out the website hopefully attract an audience. Again, the whole point of doing all of this is to expand my reach, to expand my platform. I'm on all of these different areas trying to bring people in to say, hey, look, I've got something. I've got something you might be interested in. Stop on by, let me know what you think. If no one ever tells me what they think, I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not. At any rate, we're going to keep it shorter than last time. I did ramble quite a bit last time. So, persona? Yes, no? Am I doing good? Would you like to see something different? Would you like to see me be wild and crazy like some of these other YouTubers? Or is it nice just sitting down and having a conversation? And to scripting. Would you like me to do a formal script for these? Would you like me to do informal show notes? Just hear bullet items and talk about those bullet items? What would you like to see? If I don't hear anything, I'll just keep rolling right along as I am. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And as I said from day one, I'm doing this for myself. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I would love to entertain people more. So if you'd like to see something different, let me know. I would. We can always mix things up and see what happens. This has been 5 a Day with Jay. I've been Jay. You've been awesome. Until next time.